and welcome back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to uh, enable the stop button for your our distance tracking app also how to calculate the distance once the user has uh, clicked the stop button so here is the output for it so once i click on i will just click on play route over here then i will click on start so once i click on start uh, uh, so, so this is my location and here you can see I have already started the route now I will just stop the route and here you can see that uh, I have enabled the stop button so I will just click on stop and yeah and the start button is still disabled I will uh, like we will handle that in the future tutorial so uh, I have also calculated uh, the time for this elapsed time uh, currently we are not showing it on the screen uh, but uh, yeah i have done the calculation we will show it uh, on the screen in the next video so all i have done is that firstly what you will have to do uh, is you will have to add these two variables start time and stop time okay next go to your tracker service and here you will have to add start time and stop time as well a mutable live data of long then inside initial value set the start time and stop time as zero and uh, next so uh, i have also done this uh, once stop service is called i will just uh, do the stop foreground service so this will get called once you click on the stop button and here in stop foreground service i am re removing any location updates as well as i am stopping uh, the uh, uh, notification as well and uh, depending on what version you are on uh, this is how you stop the service so stop foreground and this is for older version of android and here i am calling stop self as well and once the stop uh, once we are stopping we are posting the value to our stop time variable and in start location update we are posting the value to our start time variable as well so that's it for tracker service next uh, over here i have added the stop button click listener as well so once the stop button uh, is clicked we are disabling the start button hiding the stop button as well as we are stopping the service and we are showing the start button as well and inside observe tracker service uh, i have added this so if the location list dot size is greater than one we are enabling the stop button and here we are observing the start time and stop time as well and assigning to our start time and stop time variable uh, next what i am doing is inside uh, this is okay so this i have already explained uh what else huh so this is the calculate elapsed time uh, method which i have created so here we are finding the elapsed time this is how you find the seconds the minutes and hours and we are sending it back so yeah that's it pretty basic for this video but in next video we will see how to use this elapsed time yeah thank you for watching bye